If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. We ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda. A few years ago, uh, I believe it was 2002, a document started circulating. It became known as the Illuminati Secret Covenant. Now there's no proof if it's real or if it's not. But what's in that document really helps describe what's going on in the world today. The story goes that somebody was emailed this document accidentally and then the email that it got sent from couldn't be traced. It was deleted and never accounted for. But the person who received the email uh, you know, sent it to some people thinking that they might be able to help point, you know, light at who it was or who it came from. And it kind of spread like wildfire. But I'm going to read it to you because what's in this document is so real to what's actually going on in the world. Okay, so it's called the Illuminati Secret Covenant. And that's what it's known by these days. It's kind of spread, like I said. But I want to read it to you to give you a better understanding overall what is going on. If you're somebody who kind of just came over here, subscribe because of some of the false idol videos that have been put up. I don't know the severity of what's going on with the Illuminati. Uh, this documentation, whether whether it was written by somebody in the Illuminati or whether somebody wrote it to get the message out, it's a really clear interpretation of what's going on. So I'm going to read it to you. It's a little bit long, so just sit through it. Bear with me. An illusion it will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time, so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the Absolute. We will work together always, and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. For all this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young. We will target their children and what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, and obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus our attention toward money and material goods so they may never connect with their inner self or God. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, games, so they never be one with the oneness of it all. 
Their minds will belong to us, and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us, and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always, for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently, letting them think they are guiding themselves. We will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule, death, or whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that from their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think that they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom that they have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they will have no weapons. We will recruit someone of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not of us. The recruits will be called initiates, and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. They will never reach the higher realms. For the killing of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know that they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goals accomplish, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have established from the beginning. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are. And they will hunt us down. And no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives. For this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood. We the ones who... From heaven to earth came. This covenant must never ever be known to exist. It must never ever be written or spoken. For it is the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the prime creator upon us. And we shall be cast to the depths from which we came. And will remain there until the end of time of infinity itself. This is the secret covenant of the Illuminati. Now we have no proof if this is real or fabricated, but it sums up exactly what's going on in a few paragraphs. 
And if you heard that and it made you depressed, you're not alone. But understand what they say at the end in this document is exactly what I'm trying to preach. And that is to expose them. Because they know if they are exposed that they lose all power over the rest of us. They know if they're exposed that there's more of us than there are of them. That's why we have to continue to take action and get the message out in the name of Yahweh, our Father in Heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Pray to the Holy Spirit to come to you, to give you strength to overcome this, to give you courage to speak out against this. Many people will say you're crazy. Many people will say you've lost your mind. What does Jesus tell his disciples? In Matthew 10, 14, whoever does not receive you nor heed your words as you go out of that house or that city, shake the dust off your feet. Okay, what's, what's the Lord saying? To move on, keep going. There will be people who reject the gospel of Jesus Christ. There will be people that reject this awakening process to see that we're living in the end times and that the satanic system, the antichrist system is in full effect. Okay. This isn't just about exposing the Illuminati and exposing these people. It's about getting the scriptures out there. It's about getting people back with Jesus Christ. Okay. And showing them what's going on. Look what's going on. And look who told us this was going to happen. Our amazing father, Yahweh in heaven warned us of what would go on in the end times. To show them Christ's message of love and forgiveness, but also about being vigilant in the scriptures. Okay, there is a way to overthrow it. There is. There's some people out there who just want to wait for the end times to come and for Jesus to return. I understand that completely. My take on it is that there's way too many souls, misled souls that are going down the wrong path, that have fallen for this atheist lifestyle, this satanic lifestyle, this belief in science over Yahweh. And they've been misled. They've created a system of trickery and lies to lead people away from our Father, and we have to get them back. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Again, we ask those of you who have not subscribed, to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay strong in your faith. All glory goes to Jesus Christ. God bless you. May peace be with you.